This is the brand new Bugatti Chiron Pure Sport. And it's insane. W16 quad turbos. And this is the very first Bugatti that is daily driven exotic certified in the sense that they actually put a drift mode in this car. You did not hear me wrong. This Bugatti has a drift mode. It's got the X-Wing, Dave. That's pretty wild. It's the wheels are my favorite part. The wheels are, yeah, they're, they have, uh, did you see them? They're carbon pieces in the center, come look. So it's got the X fixed wing now. Like an X fighter, you can see how the uprights come across and look like they connect to the bumper going each way. This is a fixed carbon fiber wing. You got your W16. 1500 horsepower has a drift mode now. Those wheels are absolutely gorgeous. Carbon fiber in between here. So this piece is all forged and then they got the carbon pieces that they make to go in between each spoke, both the rear and the front wheels. Damn. Headlights always a fan favorite and that gorgeous Bugatti grill. Let's get this car out of here. Josh. Josh. Right. When you restart. Hello. Four million dollars. Well, it's no secret, it's not our car, but it's here. And thanks to Josh at Bone Auto House. Check him out on YouTube. This car is available for you guys to see because they're very rare. Only 60, yeah. 60 in the whole world. Yeah. 60, and here it is. This thing's beautiful. So, 1500 horsepower, four turbos, W16, and this is what it sounds like. Now, this car's got some really unique features compared to any other Chiron, like this spine, the way that it comes up and runs right over the roof line. Look at this. This is my favorite Bugatti of all time. This has a drift mode. I don't, I don't know, know how we yeah. engage it. We probably shouldn't touch anything, Josh. Hands <laughs> off. Damn, listen to that. The crystal tail lights. You hit the Yeah. Sounds so mean, the deep grumble. Dave, thoughts? I like it. I like it. <laughs> Are you speechless or what? I like the two different seat colors. That's cool. It's like not normal for Bugatti to be that. <sighs> Check so that out. He wasn't able to get that option. He had to really fight Bugatti to get that mismatched seat thing. That's a very Ferrari thing, by the way, if yeah. you didn't know. That's a Ferrari oh, thing. I didn't know that, damn it. Yeah. The overall goal is to make it look like there's one seat. Correct. It's super sick. So you have your nice leather here. You got your Alcantara on the inside. This really beautiful black stitching, like a cross sport stitch, something very similar to like what they do here on the steering wheel. You got a full Alcantara steering wheel, carbon fiber everywhere, red 12 o'clock ring, Alcantara even on the shift knob, dry carbon, this is all dry carbon. This is actually laser etched. So they put whatever color you want behind and they laser etch the top coat with whatever pattern you get this really cool effect. Now, how do you pronounce it? Is it per, per sport? Pure sport? I sport. I mean, pure sport? But I'm not from Bugatti land. You're not from Bugatti land. You're not? You look the type. If you're new to the channel or new to cars, these are built in France. All right, guys. So a friend of ours that we can't disclose has recently bought this car. So congratulations. One of 60. Mm -hmm. Ridiculous. Add it to your collection, which is absolutely amazing. This was the car that was missing, in my opinion. And when you're done with it, please call me. Please. This is my favorite Bugatti. This is DD certified. This has a drift mode. I know I keep saying that, but it's the only thing that matters to me. All these cars previous to this were all wheel drive and designed to just go really fast in a straight line. And the guys at Bugatti and the gals lost their minds and somehow came up with this concoction, which I'm very happy about. So I get to go for a ride? We're not going far. Fun, David. Oh, I like this. This is nice. It's pretty cozy. Wow. It's all LED. I know. Yeah. It's beautiful. This is art, man. Oh, that's over there. Come on. Goodness gracious. All you did was accelerate the 30 and it's making like whooshes and washes and... I'll take it. I'll take it.
How's he on a phone call already? He just got out of the car and turned it off. Well, huge shout out to Josh here at Bowden Auto House for letting us come and be a part of this delivery for the client. I don't know the odds are of us ever seeing this car again, which is why we sat here for two hours, two hours. and waited for this car to arrive on the back of that truck. Now we're gonna get on with the crest. The rest. Now we'll get on with the rest of our day. Okay. I can't even talk this morning. Yeah, These are cool. Okay. Bye. Love you. Okay. We'll talk soon. Love you as a friend. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Those chairs are cool. Seneca DD vlog. That's cool. The door's cool. Solid metal. That's cool. Whoa. Look at that. Dent's easy. You don't want a Bugatti. It doesn't sound like that. How's cat and mouse going over here? <laughs> ah, he, has, he doesn't give a shit. This dude's on like a mission. He's ripping down the freeway. He was trying to, he's trying to get the lunch or something. It's on his way to the donut shop. I freaking love donuts. Oh, I love donuts. It's my favorite like, thing Not in the world. just in a car, but I physically like eating donuts. That's how I got so chubby. And by the way, speaking of things that you like, we have a 720 update today and it's a big one. Oh, you called Alex. I did call Alex. Behind your back, I backdoored you. You backdoored me. Is that how that? Anyways, okay. Alex has an update for us. Big things happened in the 720. What happened? The engine is in the car. Oh, that's cool. And they're right now working on some other things. There's some upgrades for your car, some things that you might not even know about. If we're going to LA, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Let's just take all the jewelry off and leave it here because there's been a lot of robberies and I'm not even bullshitting. Tons of LA robberies right now where they're following exotic cars and then they're like jacking you in the middle of the day on the street for any watches or jewelry or anything like that. So I'm actually gonna leave my stuff at the shop. Are you gonna wear yours? You go, f no one's gonna f with me. Oh, Jesus. I'd be like, no, f off. They'd be like, it. sorry, Dave. I apologize. I was merely trying to run a business here. <laughs> All right, back to the shop. Now, we have a new merch shopping very, very, very soon. And to do that, we need to have all these materials and products. And if you run an online business, you know that costs have gone through the roof. But what if I told you there's a surefire way to save some money, and that's our sponsor, ShipStation. What I love is ShipStation gives e-commerce sellers of all sizes the same deep discounts normally reserved for Fortune 500 companies. It's not just the big guys today, it's all of us. I wouldn't trust me with this, but speaking of trust, over 100,000 sellers already right now trust ShipStation with their e-commerce business. That's Canada, US, US, UK, and Australia. Dananda. All right, guys, do you think shipping international is a hassle? Nope, not ShipStation. Go ahead, scale your business. They got your back. You know, it's no wonder that 98% of companies that use ShipStation for one year never stop using it. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Look, you guys, it really is a no-brainer. You're gonna save money on shipping while making shipping easier. That's a double win. Think of all the extra money in your pocket. Now, for me personally, I'd probably buy this car right here. But with all the money I'm gonna save for ShipStation, I don't know what it is. Oh sh NSX Type R? It is an NSX is this Type a R. Secret? I should probably have this. ShipStation works with over 45 carriers. Easily compare rates and delivery times quickly to find the best option every time. They work with over 300 platforms like Amazon, eBay, Etsy, and more. You can automate processes like fulfillment and tracking so you can save time managing orders. All right, guys, these days you've got to do whatever it takes to protect your bottom line. ShipStation is a great place to start. Sign up right now for a free 60-day trial at ShipStation.com DDE and start saving with every shipment. That's two whole months of discounted shipping absolutely free. Visit ShipStation.com slash DDE. ShipStation, make ship happen. Let's go. Ship it, ship it, ship it, ship it. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Can I show them a little sneak peek at the merch drop? Can I show them? Yeah. Dean, We're can trying I, to figure can, out firing order. Can I show right Dean? Now. You guys figure out firing order. I'm gonna show you the fire right here. New DD merch. Some basic tees. It's been a long time since we had anything like this. And I love the design. We have the tricolor logo underneath over here. It's the wrong it's tricolor. Right. What? That's the wrong tricolor. It should be orange. Oh, it's Ireland! No, get out of here, Dean! <laughs> Wait, what's, the last, what's the last Irish supercar that was made? Never. Small, small the shamrock, man. dude, the shamrock. Throw it on, throw it on, here's your shirt off. And watch this. Wow! Do you like that? I actually really like that shirt. Mr. Fryer, what do you think? I really like it too. You happy? Yep. Someone get me a Sharpie. <laughs> So we have these shirts and we do have new hats coming. The launch is gonna be Friday the 13th, May 13th at 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. We'll show you the hats later. They're gonna be epic, but these are the actual shirts right there. In the meantime, what are you working on? Right We're now? working on trying to figure out how to make the Hold Diablo on. have Hold a computer. Have a high pitch uh, F1 type sound. We're talking about the firing order. Does the Diablo 
have a similar crankshaft or the same crankshaft as like, let's say the Mercy? The answer is gonna be that ours probably won't because, well, would it? No, it wouldn't because the Diablo is a what, a 5.5 liter and that's a 6.5 liter. Yeah, but that doesn't matter. So you can make anything high pitched? If I grab you by the balls, you'll be high pitched. Ah, oh, you dirty dog. <laughs> but seriously though. I'm telling you, if I grab you by the balls, what are you going to say? What I show you? We got, car on we got the damn cars here. Let's go have a look at the- What are you No! <laughs> no. <laughs> so the firing order on this, which is cool and convenient, are always right on the top of the motor. It's pretty cool actually, isn't it? Yeah, 174, 10, 2, 8, 6, 12, 3, 9, 5, 11. Oh yeah, baby! What? Same firing order. Is it really? Pop this piece of <laughs> are this beautiful oh, car. Wow. Where is it, Damon? Jesus Christ, new, new mercy right. owners. You go over there, call numbers, man, and I'll tell you, we'll have a game of bingo. Okay, one, Fuck. Check. seven, Check. four, Check. ten, Check. two, Check. eight, Check. six, Check. twelve, Check. three, Check. nine, Check. five, Check. thirteen. Bingo! <laughs> it's, it's, 11. Cool. it's eleven, there's no thirteen. The so it's the same firing order. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hold on, pop this one. Yeah, this one's right through there. No, this is different. Is it? That's why they sound different than Mercy and the uh, Aventador. So what's this firing order? Go over there and we'll have a game of bingo that we're guaranteed to lose. Slide that up, throw it on the roof. What's this one? This one's 112, 49, 2, 11, 6, 7, 10, 5, 8. That is, that's that is, off. that is different. So we have the so, odds of making the Diablo sound like the Mercy are pretty good. Yeah, so it won't sound like this, it would sound more like Well, we have the f internet, has anyone ever done it before? No one's ever done it. If you listen to all the Diablos on the internet, none of them sound anything like this. Sound what? Like they sound part. like, they all sound like motorcycle, like bad motorcycle sounds. So the reason why this doesn't sound good is because of the way that they're running the exhaust and the headers into, into each other. It's a pretty easy car to do headers on. Cool. Okay, we need it's that It's five o'clock now. How yep. how soon? Five o'clock somewhere in the world. How soon? Shh. How soon? <laughs> <laughs> how soon can we get this thing going? About that, yeah. So listen I'll to this. I'll be washing so, my hair that day. Where's the key? You got the key? I'll be washing my hair that day. Check this out. Dave, stand at the back and watch how different these two cars sound. You can cover your ears, please. I care about you. I might get sucked in here, will I? Yeah. make it sound better but I would go to the extent of trying to find a different rubber to put on here because this rubber is dangerous. I know something I would do and I don't know if I should say it. Suspension. Carbon ceramics. Yeah well that was my idea. That would do. Upgrade it, take Huracan brakes and put Huracan brakes on here but that would that would require putting also a bigger wheel on here and I don't know if the arches would really fit a 19. you need a 19. It probably would honestly. There's yeah. a lot of room in there. First things first though, exhaust. So that's what that sounds like. It, it sounds like a 90s motorbike. It does sound, it's like, doesn't sound quite right. But hold on. It's almost like a Hayabusa, that sound. Now keep in mind, this car is already straight piped and has an exhaust and not like anything special for an exhaust. This is just how the Mercy engine sounded. child. All right, SVJ, let's uh, slap everyone across the face with that cold start. Moving on to the next specimen. Press in peace, headphone users. It's been here a while. Yeah. It's already kind of warm. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> We're doing this for science! It's for science! <laughs> what the hell did this thing set off? Okay, the SVJ wins. Doesn't f around. But I don't know if it wins. Like, this car at, at 
that revving just now, I don't feel sounds better than this. I think this sounded better. When you're on the street or the yeah, tractor, what, like yeah. this about. thing sounds incredible. But this thing sounds really, really, yeah. really good too. But again, you have to be at speed and be like at the right RPM. Well, how can we actually get on the Diablo and actually get that started? Because it, it needs to sound so like this. this. Yeah, how do we do it, Dean? He's a mastermind. <laughs> You're the master debater. It's not that bad, honestly, to do it. You keep on saying that, but we have to do. It's honestly not, though. There's who do we have to see? <laughs> who do we have to kill? Well, you have a couple next options. Next in line is uh, the 550. Yes. TJ. By it the way, can out. we talk about the 550 for a sec? It's gonna be nuts. We're not gonna say what we're doing. That's just gonna they be. They don't a know surprise. yet. They don't know yet. Fucking nuts. But that'll be a surprise. That'll be crazy. I think honestly, I honestly think as much as people like are maybe not as helped on the car as what they are with the SVJ or whatever. I think that car is gonna be a game changer in channel. They still it's like, it takes, it's so. Nuts. It's because you don't know until you've seen it, and the vision could be anything. And it's. It's coming. It's so a big investment. That's a big it's boy. It's costing real money. Taking out another mortgage on that house? Pretty much. <laughs> hey, don't you touch my salary. <laughs> <laughs> Who, can we take it to the other company that you know in Arizona and double down and get RAF? this thing done? We sure. Can, we can definitely give him a call in the morning. Where See, call? he does a lot of trophy truck stuff. He does stuff for high Yeah, that's the same as this. AJ Baldwin. Actually is. All NA motors and trophy truck stuff, so. Oh, the all V12s? It'd be really cool. So you'd build a whole new header? Header, yeah. Which, all the like, way to the exhaust. It's a, <laughs> what I love about this car, like what I genuinely love is even though it was a production car, yeah. it's still built as very much a one of one kind of car, right? Yeah, like, they're all hand built. Yeah, ones. like you see the gear knob, like the silicone hoses, the T-ball clamps, how do the radiator lines, like it looks like my race car when yeah. you open the hood, right? Yeah. That's what's cool. I enjoy that, like about cars. It, well, it shows those are our factory, right. Dean. Just so you know, it's cool though that like this is in 1998. So you got to think they designed and built this stuff like two years prior. Dry and, carbon. And there's all dry carbon in here. The whole engine bay of this car is dry carbon. Yeah, dude, this was an F1 technology then. Like this was, was like legit F1 technology. Yeah. So we'll do an exhaust in what the next two to three weeks. It actually has like um, a form of headers, like what they would call a branch header. Um, but I would obviously want to do them a little bit differently so we're able to get that Noise. high pitch sound. Yeah. yeah. And there's a couple of tricks in that that obviously guys like Alex know and our guy TJ knows and yeah. people are in the motorsports world stuff. So. Yeah, the, the way you can twist around at blah, the blah, end blah, of blah, it. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> can we call your guy yeah. in, in Arizona right now, put him on the spot on a FaceTime or something? Can we get this done? No. Is, is he that kind of guy? No. He's also 75 years old, so he's well, definitely not that kind of guy. It's almost Father's Day. But this is Arizona, so this would require a road trip. Oh sh! We do a road trip three out of us? there. The three, three of us. Yeah. Three Lamborghinis. Who breaks down first? Well, this Lamborghini be in the back of a, a trailer. Why? Why? Because we needed to make it there. <laughs> well, that oh, he's getting big dogs, Damn it! Yeah. Don't back down now. That is very true. We need Bring the trailer in front of us, and we'll tow a, a recovery vehicle. Well, we can't use the trailer right now. We can't use the truck because the truck key went with. What the happened boys. with that? The truck. The truck key's in the rig in Atlanta right now. Don't poke the bear. Come on, <laughs> Don't poke the bear. I'm highly, highly, highly f at the moment. They don't respect you, do they? I'll refrain from that. What, uh, I paid the fifth, is that what you say? Yes. You're not American, you can't use that. <laughs> we can't do Should we lock this up and quickly jump in these cars and go get some sushi on fire before our next thing we have to how, do? How much time do we have? I don't know. Two, Two hours. hours. You wanna go? Yeah, let's go. I'd like to grab a Red Bull. There's f drinks in the There's fridge. A whole Red Bull, that's what you want. Cello. All right, Max, let's go. All right, you guys, quick little bite to eat at our favorite sushi spot here in Huntington Beach. It's called Sushi on Fire. And after this, wrap up this video and the next vlog, we have a really cool uh, little car mini rally meet thing, a bunch of supercars. It's been a long time since we got the boys together and did drive, so if we want to do more of that, we brought together like, I think, 15 cars in the next vlog. It's gonna be rowdy, so make sure if you haven't, you smash the subscribe button anytime. Enjoy the sights and sounds that is Lamborghini and Huntington Beach. Okay, so recently we both got gas at the exact same time and driven the exact same distance. I'm really curious what burns more fuel, the Mercy or the Diablo? This has six gears that has. Is that five speed or a six speed? Five speed, so it has less gearing. What's that? What's we're harder on fuel, this car or that car? We'll find out. We'll find out in a second. Found a really nice gas station, and let's see if Damon complains about how hard it's put gas in the Diablo. We'll find out. Will he bring it up? Will he beat that dead horse? We're about to find out. Okay, 
Who burnt more fuel? The Diablo or the Murcielago? Damon, maybe he drove more aggressive? We'll find out. The problem is I actually can't move from this position. Why? Because it'll do that. It'll click on me. That's a good look for you. All right, I finished at $61.89. Diablo's currently at $48.70. But here's the thing. You're so aggressive. Life's short. Calm down and enjoy the drive. He doesn't know when the first click's gonna be, and I do, so it's hard to say. I would say Mercy burns a hell of a lot more fuel, let's be honest. I guess you never really know when you're done filling this car, do you? You don't until it starts pouring out. All right. <laughs> when it spills over and ends up on the ground, oh that's how you know. That's how you know when the Diablo has finally got enough fuel. So 55 bucks. Mercy burns more fuel than it Diablo. It was probably for, full at 45 to be honest. It just spilled <laughs> over. That's all filler neck. You got another trick? What's your trick? What do you do? I got another trick. So watch. This will flop open when I'm driving. Yeah. But see this little hole right here? Yep. There's a pin that'll go through that hole, provided that I lock the door. Right? And unlock the door. So this will open. Right? Yeah. Because I unlocked it, but now this is locked. Is that how it's like from the factory? I don't have those answers, but I'll tell you, that's how it's like from the factory. Where's it going right now? Why's it walking away? Where's it going to go? And he was never seen You're again. Right off. Oh, he almost walked into that car. Yellow California. You've never been here before? Please, one day, put on your list of things to do. The car seems amazing, the weather's amazing. It really has an energy, and it has Damon Ferrari and Beep Circuit right now. What I love about it is the palm trees and the ocean and all those things. And I, where I live, we have the ocean, but it's not like this. Now, speaking of Canada, I currently have a car for sale at August Luxury Motor Cars. And that is a 2016 McLaren 675LT that I don't think sold yet. Now, what that means is when it sells, I need a replacement. Damon calls the Mercy the replacement for the 675LT. We bought this car and we still have the McLaren, which means when we sell it, there's a bunch of money there. In fact, this will point in mind. We lease our cars, but it's a lease to own program for tax benefits. It's not a car you return at the end. And my buy on that car is super low, so when I sell it, there's a ton of cash thing in that car that I could use to get something really cool. Like maybe an Aventador. That S in the last video was super sick. I don't want Tigas because I don't give a I don't want curb wheels and a car with no maintenance. But I'm really enjoying the V12 life. The reality is, is that the Mercia Lago bump, uh, the Mercia Lago is a finicky car. It will likely have issues. I need a backup V12. That's not very arrogant. But it's the truth. So maybe we'll do another Ventador. It'd be cool to have is like that daily Ventador and the Mercy is like the car I drive for fun. And it goes in a tow truck and then you miss it and it comes back and you have fun. Then it goes in a tow truck. It's like an abusive girlfriend. Johnny Depp would know all about that. Oh, look at that. That's as close as the beach we'll ever get. <laughs> hey? This is as close as we'll get to the beach today. You can't beat it. Like the fact that our shops just a couple of blocks off the Pacific Coast Highway and the beach in Huntington here. Like, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. We gotta start doing more stuff where we get out and do more events and drives down around here. I'm starting to get loopy hanging out in that shop all day. We'll leave Dean in the shop. <laughs> That's why it's so pale. <laughs> so pale. Yeah, what, I mean, what is this, by the way? You have to pay. It's uh, it's uh, na like a national park. Okay. So you have to pay to get in. How do we get out of here now? We go through and say we don't want to stay and they put us through this loop and we... It's our little racetrack? So be nice and quiet. No, it's not a racetrack, Dave. You sure? Don't get us in trouble. You sure? All right, guys. That's it. That's as close as we're going to get to the beach in today's episode. We did not pay to come in here, so we got to go back out. Those are the rules and we ain't going to break them. plan for the Diablo to straight pipe this, make it sound like that. Because that's ultimately what we all need in our lives is a Diablo that sounds like a Murcia Lago. 
What's cool is I had no idea until we looked into it today, they have the exact same firing order and apparently that plays a huge role in the type of sound an engine can make. Didn't know that, still learning you guys, so it's fun. Uh, we'll get on that as soon as we can. We're gonna put the cars away for now. Smash the subscribe button. We'll see you guys in the next video soon enough. Say goodbye to Dave. Where are you going? I already said bye.